To know where this world is headed, we must look at the next generation. There are 2.2 billion children. Many are facing some of the world's worst problems. I once met a little girl in Swaziland. I know her as the girl in the red sweater. I was at a gas station when she approached me. She couldn't have been older than 13. She was willing to sell herself to me for $2. How can I affect this girl's destiny? There are two million victims of child prostitution around the world. I know the story of a boy who was forced to become a child soldier at the age of seven. By 14, he had escaped, but he lived in constant fear and hopelessness. How can we change his reality? There are approximately 300,000 child soldiers in the world today. I heard about a girl named Maria. Abandoned by her parents, she dropped out of school to provide for her three brothers. She was hopeless enough to want to end her life. How can I offer hope to her situation? Suicide is the sixth leading cause of death among children. The girl in the red sweater deserves to know the truth of how she's valued. The boy soldier needs to know the truth that can free him from fear. Maria deserves to know that she has more to live for. I can't imagine knowing how to release them from their desperation and not acting on it. On the streets, Maria survived by selling tortillas. But it didn't take her long to realize that selling tortillas was not enough for her and her three little brothers. The other street girls made more money, but at the cost of selling themselves. Preferring to kill herself rather than sell her body, Maria bought pills and planned to end her life and the lives of her three brothers to put an end to their reality. Every child deserves the right to receive God's truth, to bring hope to their situation. When Maria and her brothers were given God's truth, their lives were changed. Maria traded the pills for hope as God's truth brought life to her despair. Having a local church provide for her, Maria soon left the streets and started a new life. One by one, we can affect the state of the world's children. God's truth for spiritual justice. God's truth for every child.